Hi guys, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can fix shipping not available for the selected address on Shopify. Now, this is going to be an easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys all the solutions you can do to solve this problem because I know guys how it's going to be annoying, especially if you are getting a lot of messages from your customers saying that like the shipping is not available for the for their address. So you are just missing out on a lot of sales. I, that's good. that's going to be very bad. So what you guys need to do first is to, like, for example, okay, so let's just start with the small things, like small mistakes that those people make is the, sh the like the the weight of the product. Like make sure like the product product details like weight or size is is correct. Okay, so if you have made a mistake there, it's going to, like Shopify is not going to recognize that, and it's going to like it's going to appear like the message is going to appear to your customers that the shipping is not available okay so what you guys need to do is to check if the product the, the product size or the product weight is 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 correct okay just make sure it's correct and after that if it's correct then what you guys need to do you want to click here on settings at the very bottom left okay and then you want to click on shipping and delivery okay so and then you want to click here on general all products and make sure everything is set up correctly like all the shipping rates are there like you have added uh, like you have in like act activated the markets okay so what you guys need to do here as you can see in the international section as you can see i'm going to click on this more okay and make sure the kind like all the countries are included in international shipping if you are like shipping internationally okay so if you are only shipping to local people you will see here your country and make sure you click on edit zone and make sure you add this country to the to the market okay you want to enable it okay you will just need to like ch change it to primary market that's what i mean uh like change the country where you want to ship to to prim primary market that's if you are targeting only one country okay but if you are have a problem with international customers then what you guys need to do is you want to click here on this edit zone and make sure all the countries are included here so if you have this in like it didn't include a country you need to check it okay you need to check the box for example if you didn't include canada you need to check canada and then click on done and make sure you add the shipping rates okay that's going to be very important okay customer rate standard for example okay and then here the, the it's optional this one doesn't right and then you want to add the price here if it's free shipping then you just need to, to add like three zeros as, as as you can see here and then click on done and yeah and and also after you like click on save after you make some changes here click on save also if this doesn't work you want to go back and in here where it says shipping okay you want to click on shipping and delivery and it says here choose where you ship and how much you charge for shipping and check out click on your profile and you want to name this profile whatever countries or like problem like something like that and add these products here okay i'm going to add this product for example like click on done and you want to like add the ship add shipping zone okay you want to add the, sh the countries where you want to ship this product or for example i'm going to ship this product to these countries i'm going to name this zone like something like this okay customers will not sh see that and also you want to add the rate i'm going to add the rate here i'm going to add zero okay and yeah that's it now and now what you guys need to do you want to click on save also after you save that you want to go to markets okay also make sure like the like make sure like i said to, to check the weight of the product if you have made a mistake there because like shipping services that you have selected will like not be able to ship that and your customers will receive the message like you we cannot uh, send this to the selected address now you want to click on markets and make sure if it's active or not for example international market click on it and it says here inactive so even even though i selected all the countries in this market on internet in, in the international market if it's not activated the customers will not be able to check out and you will always see that message that says we well, cannot ship to the selected address so make sure you want to click you just need to click on on the top here where it says inactive and you want to click on active okay and make sure you activate it okay like just click on active and primary for example click on next save okay just need to activate this market this international market okay so that's exactly what you guys need to they just deleted this all right now 
after you activate it what you guys need to do next is like i said to check if everything is set correctly like the shipping uh check if like if you have like printful or printify like downloaded like you just not uh, you have imported products from there and keep in mind when you import products it's not going to import also the shipping rates and you, see, you have to set up th to set up that you want to go to printful and you want to just just uh, like enable that when I, whatever you sh like uh, you just need to set up shipping there on the printful or whatever third party you are using so hopefully this one guys helped you if you need any help like let me know in the comments i reply to every single comment tell me exactly what your problem is and they will reply to you guys in the comments hopefully this one guys helped you if it does leave a like subscribe to the channel see you guys in the next video